Hey everybody, I'm Dan. I've been podcasting for about eight years now. I have a brand new podcast called Angst, a coming of age podcast that I have to submit to the world to put out there. And I figured I would take this time, this busy work time of submitting my podcast uh, as a chance to create some content and give how to's to fledgling podcasters out there who who they have an audio file, but they don't know what to do with it. So my uh, methodology I'm using here is to submit my podcast to SoundCloud uh, and set up my SoundCloud in such a way that it creates an RSS feed, which is like a package that you can then send out to different services so that they know what your podcast is, where your episodes are, what is the album art, so people can listen on SoundCloud, but I can also take that feed and that file that I get from SoundCloud and give it to Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, whatever you want. And, uh, you know, I am coming at this from the perspective of someone who already has a recorded first episode. Um, so if you want want me to do tutorials in the future about how to, you know, plan for a podcast, how to record, what equipment to use, how to edit the podcast. Let me know in the comments below. I can I can go through that in the future. But today uh, I'm doing this work, but I figured I'd make content out of it. So here we're going to go and we're going to make a new uh, SoundCloud account. I'm going to enter my email address and I'm going to create a password. Indicate my gender. I am a male. Now this is the first sort of meaty important piece here, it's choose your display name. Now this name is what will show up on your podcast over on iTunes and things as your name of the podcast. But there is a workaround if you want to have one thing that's sort of your SoundCloud account name and one thing that is your podcast name. There is a special setting we can get into later. Uh, I am going to just go ahead and make this my actual podcast name. All right, so I uh, officially have an account, but I'm going to go over into my email and I am going to confirm my email, confirm your address. Uh, I'll upload my first track. But before I do that, I'm actually going to go over here, go to my profile, and I'm going to update my image. This image is what's going to be my album art for the podcast overall. So I'm going to use this album art here. It's a sort of temporary thing. Now your album art has to be 1400 by 1400 at minimum. Uh, it needs to be a nice big square. So here we go. And over on SoundCloud, it's going to make it into a circle, but uh, you know, you get the idea. It's going to take the full square when it goes into things like iTunes. Now I did forget an important step here, which is to go over here to your drop down menu and try Pro. Now there's a bunch of different options here if you want to do SoundCloud Pro. So you can do this free option and you only get three hours of upload time a month, not a whole lot going on there. If you have a podcast like me where you're going to be uploading, you know, multiple times over the month and you're going to have, you know, an hour plus podcast each time, three hours, not awesome. Now, if you're going to be, you know, doing smaller podcasts or once a month podcasts, that's probably okay. Um, but you also, there's a lot of other features that you're not going to be getting. You're going to have less statistics to look at. You're going to be missing out on a lot of cool things like being able to schedule your podcasts. Uh, you can replace a track once you realize, hey, there's an issue in here. I need to replace this. There's lots of uh, helpful things. You can embed them in your websites better. Um, so I am going to do not this full $16 a month version. I'm going to do this $8 a month because I only need about six hours of upload time. I'm recording every other week. So six hours should hopefully be enough. And you do get these advanced stats, the advanced embed controls. You can replace tracks, all that stuff. And it's only $8 a month. So I'm going to do that. All right, so now I have a pro plan. Now let's go back to our profile. We have a few things to add here to set up for our RSS feed. Uh, what's the description, all that stuff. So we're gonna go here and edit. First thing I'm gonna do is just change the URL of my SoundCloud itself. So the URL I wanted is not available. I had to do this funky one, uh, unfortunately. But again, SoundCloud is more of a means to an end for me. I will point people here, but it's more about it. It makes it easy to create your feed and do all the work for you. So next, let's fill out this bio. This is going to be connected to the description of your podcast. I wrote this nice description out here ahead of time, and I'm going to bring it here and paste it. Um, and basically your description is what's going to show up on iTunes and that kind of thing. And it will show you, you know, be like, hey, listeners, this is what my podcast is about. This is how you can contact me. You know, this is why you should care. And then uh, you might want to also add some links that will show up with your podcast. So I'm going to do Twitter. 
and I'm also going to do my YouTube. Save changes. All right, so we got our description, all that jazz, very good. You also, you can go over here and upload a header image to make your SoundCloud look a little nicer. I might do that a little later. And uh, next, I would say go over here to your settings and you have a few more things you need to fill out to help build your RSS feed. So here we're going to content. Uh, here's where you're going to put your email address that you're going to display so people can find you and, and message you about your podcasts and you feedback, whatever. I'm going to display my email address here. Uh, this is what I was talking about earlier, where so I could just have your actual name in your SoundCloud, but then you want your podcast name here. That's, that's an option. You can also go over here and go to your categories and pick a category of your podcast. Mine is a TV and film podcast. That's a necessary link for iTunes to know what kind of podcast you have. Also, you can customize your author name. I'm going to be doing OK. That's the name of my channel. You can also do things here that are a little bit more advanced, basically about stats tracking and redirecting your podcast and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that right now, but if anybody wants to know about that stuff, let me know in the comments below. Here we also have upload defaults. So you might want to click this, include an RSS feed. Basically, it makes it so every time you upload something, it goes to your RSS feed. That might not be what you want if you're someone who has a sound cloud that has both maybe they put up music sometimes and then other times you put up podcasts then you'd want to be able to pick each individually this is the one that goes in the rss feed i guess want my podcast in the rss feed not the music uh, but since this is going to be my soundcloud just for my podcast my single podcast i'm going to include an rss feed oh and i forgot one important thing here which is the contains explicit content box. Uh, so if you're going to be saying fucking all that shit, uh, you would want to check that off so you don't get in trouble with the kitties. so that I am going to say fucking shit. All right, next up is we're gonna finally upload our podcast. So clicking on the upload, then we're gonna choose a file to upload. And here is my MP3 of my first episode, episode zero, and I will open it. I'm going to upload an image here. Now, this is what's gonna show up in SoundCloud. It's the episode specific art. It's kind of nice on your SoundCloud to have different images. So we're gonna pick this out and again, 1400 by 1400. Now you're gonna need the title of the episode. This is pretty good, I'll stick with that. Uh, you can pick out what the specific URL is gonna be. I don't really care. You can pick your genre. I'm going down to entertainment. Um, now you can add some tags, describe the mood of the track. Um, I'm just going to say podcast for now. Because this is the very first episode, I'm just going to use the same description that I used for the podcast overall. And uh, now I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make it public. You can also make it private or schedule it. Um, but you need a pro unlimited subscription to schedule your track to go live. Um, also, you can go over in the metadata. There's a whole bunch of different options you can put in here up to you sort of thing. Permissions, you always wanna double check that it still says include an RSS feed, which it is, so that's great. And I am going to hit save, upload complete, go to the track. Now you're gonna probably want to play it. I will trust for right now for the sake of this that it plays fine. Uh, but you got your album art here, it looks nice. You got the art of your overall album art. Everything seems pretty good to go. So let's, let's make that feed happen. So now we're gonna go back to our settings. We're gonna go back to content. And now we have our RSS feed here. We're gonna copy that and we're gonna bring that over into iTunes. And we're gonna to go to the store and we're gonna go over to podcasts in the store. And we are going to submit a podcast. This brings you over to podcast connect, iTunes podcast connect. We're gonna log into my iTunes connect login if you don't have one you would create one you have all of your podcasts you ever done the mistakes the ones that have been taken down and you can go and click on this plus button and you're going to paste your rss feed here and you can validate oh look at this prepared for submission it has a nice little status there um it shows you your album art looks great title angst the coming of age podcast TV and film category, English, media is audio, explicit content. Here's my description. So now we can submit. 
podcast successfully submitted for review. This is very exciting. You've successfully submitted your podcast for review. Apple will send you an email once the review process is complete. The email from Apple doesn't go to the email that you used in your RSS feed. It actually goes to the email that you signed in on on your iTunes Connect. So whatever email that is, that's where you're gonna get an email confirmation from Apple, and it will be like, hey, everybody, it's in review, uh, we'll get back to you. So, you know, hopefully we get in, but uh, the thing that's great now is that Apple has this uh, validate feature that I showed you earlier, letting you know, hey, this feed isn't broken, you didn't make any mistakes. It's all pretty smooth and easy to use. I do think I will jump over to Stitcher to also submit my podcast there so that Android users have an option. All right, so we are going to sign up. We are going to create an account here. All right, so now I'm officially signed in. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and I am going to click on partner sign up. And I'll get some nice information here about this whole setup. And you have this form here. So you're going to do your provider name, which could be the name of your podcast or could be the name of uh, basically if you have multiple podcasts, you can have that name. It all describes it here pretty well in this little box. And then the email you want to use. Continue. It's then going to ask you a bunch of personal information like your name and your website URL and all that stuff. Basic uh, fill in the blanks. You do need a website URL, so I would just use the uh, website URL you have for your SoundCloud. Now you go over here, you have your show name and your RSS feed, so let's go grab that again. RSS feed, copy, parsed. And we're an English podcast. Now you pick your uh, your category here again. This is not nearly as intuitive as iTunes, but what you gonna do? Pick it here, and then you have subcategories. Uh, I'm not gonna go with any of those though. Uh, and then com current number of listeners. Well, this is a brand new podcast, so zero to 100, I suppose. You have our Twitter handle that I just put in, doing okay video, Facebook page, I don't have one. Uh, and you can have some keywords. And you have another terms of use, all that jazz. Definitely read it and click continue. Uh, now you have your content provider application. It looks a lot like iTunes, but less pretty. And you can submit application and they will be in touch, much like iTunes. So that's basically it for Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, SoundCloud. You're on a number of awesome platforms right off the bat. I hope this helped a lot. And if you want to hear about how to get on other platforms, how to build an audience, again, equipment, any of those things, let me know in the comments below. Hope this helped. And uh, I, I have lots of other fun, knowledgeable things if you want to hear more how-tos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.